and this is a tutorial on how to make an augmented reality game. So basically this is a re recording of my original tutorial because there has been some serious updates when it comes to Unity and AR that has made it a lot easier for people to get into developing and all things like that. Um, so I originally made the tutorial this summer, actually, and then by fall, I realized that with the whole update and the templates that they've released, that things have gotten a lot easier. So this is a good thing that I'm re-recording. The main change is that the, they have created this AR template that has basically changed a lot of the settings in Unity for you, so you don't have to go through the troubleshooting of figuring out why it isn't building to my phone or why it isn't working. So we'll be going over that. But before we go through that, let's take a step back and think about like what is AR and how what we're going to do to be able to build this game. So step one, we'll be downloading Unity. So Unity is, if you're not familiar, a game development program that um, people can use to create games rather for the web, VR, or AR, you can create a lot of different experiences with Unity and that will be the program that we're using. So I have both recorded video versions of everything and condensed versions which are basically the same thing except I just have like a quick list of um, everything you need to check and like go through if you are already familiar with Unity and you feel like you don't really want to like sit down and watch a video. So before you start, here are some things that you need to check. You, that you have an AR compatible a iOS or Android device. And you can find a list of devices at this website. Basically, you don't want your phone to be too old or on an operating system that won't be able to support AR. Um, most of the new phones released now, both iOS and Android support AR, so that is a good thing. Um, but just in case, you can check. This also, um, applies to tablets if you want to use that to develop. You need a Mac or PC computer to develop with, and then a mouse, which is optional, but like it really helps um, when navigate navigating through the through Unity and um, clicking things. I don't know. <laughs> so here's the major steps that we'll be taking that I've broken down this tutorial into. And I'll go over pretty quickly. Um, it's not too hard. It's just basically setting up the environment before we get ready to develop and like do our fun, creative stuff. So we'll be installing Unity. Um, as I said before, it's a game development program. And then we'll be preparing our device to develop with. So there are some settings we need to change within our device itself. Then lastly, we'll be changing a few settings within Unity so that we can build to the phone and have our app that we're building work on the phone. And we'll be using AR Foundation for this. Now there are different um, AR plugins that can be integrated with Unity. One very popular one is Vuforia, but I found that AR Foundation has like the widest range of different experiences that you can create and play around with compared to Vuforia, which is really good for image recognition, things like that. So with this update of the AR template, most of this, the prepping Unity is already done for you, but there are a few buttons that we, we need to go over and click. So I have Google open. I'm just gonna look for Unity Hub, which we, we will be downloading. And so basically we'll just download Unity Hub for now. Once you have Unity Hub downloaded, open it up. You may need to log in. It might be asking you about um, a license and you can just use a personal license if you're developing for yourself and log in with the new account. And we'll go to installs and we'll add an install. I'll be using 2020.3.22. And once you select your, but for now, since I already have that downloaded, you, I'll select this just to show you what options you'll need to check. So basically you'll have to make sure you have Visual Studio downloaded and Android build support. I will be building for Android on my PC computer, but if you were building for iOS, you would need to check this iOS build support. Um, iOS, the setup for Unity with iOS and Apple devices is a little bit different 
Um, uh, I'll have separate documentation that goes through that um, if you want to take that route. But this is mainly focused on just Android and PC. So making sure you have all of the SDK and NDK tools and OpenJDK and then agree to the terms and install. So now we'll go to projects. I already have one project, one test project that I've created. We can go to new and then it'll be retrieving a list of available templates. So I already have AR, the AR template downloaded right here, but it'll ask you to download it. Um, and once it's done, you select it and then name your project. And make sure that you set the location and create. So now we have the AR project template open. You could just close this here because uh, we'll go over it anyways. And we'll close the tutorials tab here. Um, you can always find it later, later, like it says, and readjust our screen. Okay, so let me go through some of the basics of what is different in an AR scene. So with Unity and the AR template, it automatically sets you up with AR Foundation. So it has created these two main objects within the scene. They are The AR session basically tells your phone that this is an AR scene and this is how it needs to be run. Um, and then you'll add different inputs onto this um, input manager to basically add different functionalities to the AR scene. The AR session origin contains the AR camera. And this is basically the camera that your phone is looking through in order to um, instantiate the AR. Um, as you can see, there's a, a lot of different options within the camera that we'll go over later within the tutorial but right now we're just setting up the XR environment. Um, as you can see there's also the XR scene that has been created within the assets so this contains the information for the AR session and AR session origin. So in previous versions of Unity you would basically have to import the XR a folder into the scene yourself and set up the air session and air session origin yourself but now it's all done for you um, and if you want to access any of the the objects within the XR menu you can right click in the hierarchy and you would see this XR option and you can see the air session air session origin a few other options such as point cloud default plane default face that we'll go over later but for now, we just want to make sure this is working. So I'll create, go to game object, 3D object cube, and I'll create a cube right in front of the camera so that we can see it's working. Let me reset its transforms, move it in front of the camera. Um, let's give it a little bit of an angle so that we can see that the light is working when we load it and then let's click, see if it's positioned. Okay. So first things first, what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to edit project settings, go down to XR plugin management. And basically we're going to be building to the Android device. Make sure you check AR core because that is what we're using. And that's all you have to do here. Next we'll go to player over here. Um, this is the default company name and product name that I'll use. Um, you'll have to make sure you're clicked into this Android settings part and go down to other settings and scroll unfurl the other settings. Now this is another thing that was changed within the update. Uh, you had to go through a few of these settings and change them in order to make it work, but now it's all been set up for you, um, which is really nice. Um, but we want to make sure to check override default package name so that we can set a unique name for our app so that we can have different versions instead of having it be the same name. Um, so I'll just name it gabby.testapp.testar. 
And with that, that is all done. Now we'll go close this. So now the next thing we'll have to do is we'll go to file, build settings, and make sure to change this to Android. So we'll just switch device. Okay, it's done. When it's done, you'll see the Unity symbol is over Android and we'll add open scenes. So that is all we'll do for now and we'll save what we have. The next step to this is that we'll have to go into the phone and change some settings there before we're able to build. But basically, once we change all the settings, we'll go to build and run. And you have to make sure your phone is connected with your USB to the computer at the time and make sure your phone is unlocked. And that is all you have to do to set up the environment for XR. The next part of the series of tutorials will go into more specific XR options that we can play around with and that you can set up within a scene.